Hi, my name is Chris Boehner. Today I want to talk to you about the new T650 SC camera. This is FLIR's battery-powered handheld thermal imaging unit. It all starts with a 640-480 microbolometer detector right here behind the lens. It streams the data over to a brilliant LCD screen here on the back. This allows us to do on-camera analysis and recording. We can also save the imagery to a removable SD card right underneath this flap. Then we can take this SD card out, plug it into another device for further analysis and recording. We also have the ability to stream the data out through USB to a PC at up to 30 frames per second. This allows us in our research IR software to view the imagery live, remotely control the camera, as well as do analysis and recording directly on the PC. Another great option is Wi-Fi connectivity to FLIR's iPad Viewer app that works on the iPad, the iPhone, or the Android. This allows us to remotely control the camera, view the imagery live, and even do some reporting analysis directly on the iPad. To take a picture, we simply focus the camera and then push in on the trigger. It's very easy to acquire data that way. We can also record MPEG-4 videos directly onto the camera too. We also have an integrated visual camera. There's two of them right here in the front of the camera. This allows us to do continuous focusing of the camera or to do thermal fusion if we want to fuse the infrared image on top of the visual image. In low light environments, the camera also features two nice LED lamps right here on the front to fully illuminate for the visual image. If you want to point out something to a colleague or maybe a customer, we also have a laser pointer. Depress this and the laser will point out exactly what the camera is looking at. We have interchangeable optics here on the front. It's easy to pop them on and off. I simply twist and pull it off. The lens has a thermal temperature sensor in it that helps us compensate for ambient drift changes in the camera or the lens. We also have a filter holder right here behind the lens if we want to do spectral filtering with the camera. To put on another lens, whether it's a wide angle lens or a telephoto lens or even a close up lens for close up microscopy work, I just simply snap it back on. The camera also features removable batteries. So if I run out of batteries there in the field, I simply pop it out plug in the next battery, in a matter of minutes I'm ready to go. There's a lot of mounting options for the camera as well. We have a quarter 20 here, and with the tripod mount adapter, this screws on giving us a quarter 20 that we can mount onto a standard tripod or a microscope optic. One great feature you may have noticed on the camera is that it allows me to view images above or below me without having to stress my wrist by using the tiltable image block. I simply tilt it up, now I can image above me and still have a great view of the LCD screen. If I'm looking below me, very similar. It's a very versatile camera and makes it ergonomic to use. The T650 SC works for a lot of different applications. For example, the portability of it makes it really nice for looking at things such as solar cells when you're out in the field. It also works great if you want a tripod mount it and look at things in a lab such as a printed circuit board. This makes it one of the most versatile cameras within the research and science product line. 